Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another episode of the 3 and the 13 show. I'm 3, jersey number 3, Varun. And I am 13, jersey number 13, Rakhav. So in our quest to find out what makes a champion, we bring to you the story of Teresa Fresenetti. She is the European champion, the world champion and an Olympic champion in the sport of water polo and represents one of my favorite countries in the world, Italy. Hi, hi everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you. So Teresa, please tell us how and when did you develop interest in water polo and when did you realize that you could become a professional athlete of water polo? Uh, I was born and uh, raised in uh, Recco and uh, this uh, can tell you everything. In Recco kids uh, grow up uh, eating uh, focaccia and uh, playing water polo. So it's been easy for me to end up playing in the water with a ball in my hands. Yes. Um, everything uh, was going uh, very fast, but uh, at the beginning, uh, sure, I would never have thought uh, I would have uh, reached uh, so high uh, levels. Uh, leaving home at uh, 18 uh, probably was uh, uh, the starting point. Teresa, describe that feeling that you had when you represented Italy for the first time ever? Mm, the feeling of pride when you represent your country is uh, amazing. Uh, growing up, uh, you feel uh, even more uh, um, responsible um, as uh, you are seen as an example to follow by younger players. Teresa, as we all know, you competed in 2012 and 2016 Olympics. So what was the journey and how were those four years between both the Olympics? A lot of athletes consider it to be a privilege to play in one Olympics. You have played in two. Please tell us about the experience. Um, I took part at the three Olympic Games. Um, and uh, I felt uh, a different uh, level of uh, um, consciousness uh, in each one of them. In 2016, um, in, uh, at the Olympic Games in Rio, um, I was a complete uh, uh, mature athlete. In 2017, you announced your retirement. I know it would have been real hard. What were your thoughts? Do you think you could have given more to the sport, probably as an administrator or a coach? Uh, in 2017, uh, I retired. Um, I think I was uh, peacefully and happy because uh, somehow I think um, I, I gave a lot. Uh, anyway, I was uh, a little bit um, tired and uh, I felt uh, the necessity to make a new private uh, experiences in my life. You have won at the Olympics, the World Championships, the European Championships. Which one of these would you like to rate as the toughest competition and why? I remember many beautiful moments and um, on the other way um, many sad moments. The worst moment, moments are probably the ones that uh, gave me the opportunity to learn even more, reaching a new level of uh, um, resilience. I remember with much uh, pleasure the gold medal at the European Champ in 2012. 
uh, and uh, obviously uh, the silver medal in, um, in Rio. Rapid fire, life as an athlete in the Olympic Village or as a vice president of the FIN. Life in the Olympic Village, always as an athlete. As an athlete, I have no doubt. The Olympic silver medal, the European gold medal, or the World Championship bronze medal. Choose one. Uh, always uh, the Olympic silver medal. Nothing has uh, Olympic uh, games. Nothing. Nothing. So would you rather be a top athlete all your life or now that you've retired, be a top coach? I think that uh, being uh, an uh, athlete uh, is uh, amazing and uh, even though it requires uh, a life of uh, sacrifice, uh, if I had uh, the elixir of a long uh, life, uh, I will be an athlete forever. Why not? Why not? <laughs> would you rather have an award named after you or a full stadium? Probably I, <laughs> a, a stadium. A stadium. <laughs> Even if uh, for water polo players uh, is uh, probably mm, almost impossible. <laughs> so would you rather be the best water polo player in the world? and never win an Olympic medal or be an average player and win the Olympic gold medal? I've always uh, played uh, as a part uh, of um, a team uh, and for the handing result, not uh, as a single. Um, this is what uh, you have to do when you play for a team, nothing else. Teresa, please share a message with all the aspiring athletes who wish to compete at the Olympics and also get glory at the world's highest stage. My message for those uh, uh, aspiring to be professional athletes uh, um, is uh, never give up on your dreams. And uh, I also have to say that uh, um, hard work and sacrifices uh, always pay off and uh, that uh, taught sport uh, you can learn uh, a lot uh, about uh, real life. Thank you Teresa for talking to us, taking our time and telling us what made you the champion you are. Thank you for everything. Uh, I wish um, to will be okay and uh, maybe um, write me or call me. Next week, yet another story on the 3 and the 13 show, wherein we try to decipher what makes a champion so that tomorrow you're inspired to become one yourself.